Today we're going to go through creating a shaped number card. These cards are really kind of neat and they are in the shape of the numbers for the occasion. So you can make a 21st birthday card, you can make an 80th birthday card. So we're going to go through what it takes to create that. So on your design you're going to receive this file and when you open it it gives you all of your numbers and their layer you also have this yellow rectangle which is sized out to be five by seven and then you have a an scoring line a seven inch scoring line that you also will be using now these are grouped and generally what I do is I leave them grouped I copy the pieces that I'm going to need and then I hide them. That way, if I do go ahead and hit save, I always have my pieces to create cards again. So in order to never lose that ability, um, you want to just go ahead and leave these components grouped and then just copy them so that you have your working copy. So today, for example, I'm going to show you a 25th anniversary card. So we're going to go into our group and we're going to locate the five and we're going to click on where it says group. We're going to duplicate it, pull him to the side, and we're also going to scroll down and find the two where it is grouped and duplicate that. Now we have our numbers. I'm going to take and click on our group again, and I'm going to close the eye on that entire group. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I need um, my base layer and my score line. I'm going to duplicate it, and then I am going to close the eye on one of those two. So now I have a nice clean mat, which um, I like to work that way. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup these things. So I ungrouped this set here. So I have my score line and I have my 5 by 7. I also have my numbers. These will need to be ungrouped, but I think it's easier to really see what you're working with if you leave them grouped for now. I'm going to click on my uh, yellow rectangle and I'm going to send it to the back. So we're going to place our two and our five on top of, and we're really using that yellow rectangle only as a sizing reference because we want this to be able to fit in a standard five by seven envelope, which I will include in this file for you as well. So we're gonna go ahead and position our two and our five the way that we like them. You can go close, um, or you can separate them apart. I'm going to go right about here because now my layers, my light blue pieces, will have some space between them. And I kind of try to keep it so the spacing is all even. Um, that's just a me thing. So now I can actually take my yellow layer and move it out because I know it's going to fit in that 5x7 space going to select both letters and I'm going to go up here to align and I am going to align top so now they are aligned at the top edges and I am going to ungroup each of these letters and to make my life easier I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight the light blue 2 I'm going to press and hold my shift key highlight the light blue 5 click on it and I'm going to group them. So now when I want to see it, I can move them as one piece. So now I have this. Also in your file, I'm going to include a um, square and we will have him be the same color as your base layer. So this will also be in your file for you. You're going to take this square and you're going to place it between your letters because when you cut this you don't really want this all in here 
to um, cut out. You want to create more of like this look, and you'll see what I'm saying here. So I'm going to go here, arrange, and send this to the front. So now you still have the shape of the 25, but you don't have all of that space in there. And that's going to allow you to write a sentiment on the inside of your card. And I think it just really gives it some nice um, depth, but still looks good. So let's get that back out of there. Now I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to weld it. Now you can see um, that we have, it looks really nice that way. So I'm going to move my two numbers out of the way. I'm going to take my welded panel and I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to take the one that I just duplicated and I'm going to flip it vertical. Okay, so now I have an upside down piece and a regular piece and I'm going to make them touch and overlap just a little bit. Then I'm going to select both pieces and I'm going to go to Align, Center, Horizontal. And now I'm going to weld them. And again, now we have one piece. I'm going to click on my score line. I'm going to press and hold my shift key. I'm going to click on the welded piece. Don't worry that it looks like it's included our um, 25 over here. It has not. I'm going to hit align. I'm going to click center. And now I'm going to go down here and attach. So now this will put our score line for folding this in half. And let's pull this back to the front and slide it over top so you can see what it's going to look like. So now when we cut this all out, we will just fold it in half, paste our light blue two and five on top of our base, and we are good to go. We do not need to cut this yellow, so you can actually just delete that out. Click on make it, there's your 25, and there's your card base. So that makes it very easy to create a shaped number card. Now another thing that I want to show you that you can do with this, and we'll just bring these down here, and let's see, we're going to go back and we are going to ungroup our numbers. And so this is a 25th birthday, and it's a big deal. We're going to make a cake also. So we've got the card. Now let's make a cake topper. So I'm going to go to my two and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to duplicate it. There's that guy. And then I'm going to go down and find my five. Click here and duplicate that. Pull that over. I'm going to click on my group over here, which will bring it right up in your layers panel real easy. Close the eye. So now I have this 25 also. I want to make the cake topper. So just to make this um, a little bit easier for you to understand what I'm saying, I am going to real quick insert a couple of shapes here. So these are going to be to illustrate my sticks for poking into the cake. So here I have my 25. And because this is a cake topper, I think that is going to work just fine even with that cut in there. So I'm going to ungroup and move my five. I'm going to ungroup and remove my two. And I am going to weld this. And now I have my 25 base. Now I'm going to duplicate that base. And I am not going to flip it. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. So for my front, yep, arrange, go to back. I'm going to cut this all out. And I'm going to glue my letters in place here. So let's just glue those for right now. I'm going to take my base layer of my 25. I'm going to take my pokey sticks that I'm going to poke into the case, into the cake. And I'm going to position them here and here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and glue them on to my 25 that I have cut out. Then I'm going to take this layer that I have here and I am going to slide him right over on top and I'm going to glue him down. And now I have my shaped cake layer. Now again, if you think this is going to be too flimsy, you can always go back in and um, add that little square that we had. We're going to turn him blue and I'm going to pop him in here and let's duplicate it for the other layer. And so now we're going to weld that and let's just make this easy and we'll get rid of this and I'm going to take my other base layer and get rid of it. We'll move this one to the back and now we could um, have a little bit more structure there and glue those on and then we're going to pop those on with our sticks layered between and there you have a little additional structure so it gives you a couple of ideas on things that you can do um, to utilize these letters now the nice thing that I like with this is that you do have the ability to resize this. So um, let me ungroup this again. So you you like the um, idea of the cake topper, but you don't really want him to just be a five by seven. So you do have the option to go ahead and resize this to whatever size you need your uh, cake topper to be. So here we are looking at, this guy is 11.47. Uh, so actually, I would go ahead and center that and I would probably make this the full 11 and a half. So we can cut it out of one sheet of paper. And that gives you a really nice size cake topper. And then we have the matching card here. So I hope that... Um, gives you some idea. Okay, I have gone back and added a few things to this file. So in this grouping, you will have all of the single numbers and they are sized again for approximately five by seven. And they will fit, of course, in the five by seven envelope. So here is your nine, your score line is here. So then this flips to close your card. Um, here we have a three. Now, if you didn't want this opening here, you could always ungroup it, detach the score line, and then use a circle or a square and weld it to close that. But with it there, it's gonna maintain that three shape. Here we have the one, um, we have a two, I'm going to change this and move this forward. Uh, there's the two, same kind of a situation there. Um, there is our four, then we have five, six, seven, seven was probably the most difficult because really to um, put any other attachment in here kind of really takes away from the shape. So it only closes there um, or attaches to the back of the card here. We have the eight here and then of course there is your nine. So I think that those will be a nice addition to this. And then of course, as we've discussed, you have all of your um, individual numbers here to create your two-digit birthday anniversaries.